going on guys blocker here and back for another episode today we're doing an install video we're going to put the sissy bar on the breakout for that two up riding make it a bit more comfortable a bit safer let's get the dark horse out of the garage so this is a sissy bar guys we've already put the backrest on basically we have to remove these two bolts put on the docking system and then hook this up so this all started when somebody rocked up at my place one morning and had this awesome idea and guess who that was So Chris Jam sits down and says, Blocker, I've got an awesome, awesome idea. idea. And I'm like, what is it, Chris Jam? And she's like, why don't we get a backrest put on the bike? That, that way I can come, come on, come on adventures. adventures with you. And I'm like, fuck yeah, that's a mad idea. So we cruise down to Harley Heaven, Sydney, and we order the parts. So we've got the docking hardware kit, the sissy bar, low profile sissy bar, and the backrest, and all up cost us $480 bit steep but that's the price you pay for a nice solid sissy bar and a bit of comfort so here we are let's get to it so we're gonna need our trusty ratchet our T45 and an 8mm hex so T45 Torx and 8mm hex all right guys so we're going to remove these. Clean it up a little bit. Alright guys, so these are the docking hardware kit it came with. As you can see, this one here has got like a rubber insert and the other one doesn't. So that's a lot, a lot thicker, and that's going to go at the front of the rear guard. And the one with the rubber insert is going to go on the rear of the rear guard. Thin washer, put it through. And that one goes on the back. And the one with the thick washer will go on the front, just like that. So let's get to it. We're going to need our Loctite thread locker, guys. 243 medium strength. We're going to put some of this on. So we can lock it in place like so now also another thing guys you can see there's a little flat spot on each side so they're going to be directly up and down when we put it on switch over to our eight mil And we're also going to torque these down guys, so I'll swap over to the torque wrench. Remember, thick washer goes to the front. Pretty simple install. Um, I'm just going to torque these down. Grab the torque wrench. So the settings in the instruction manual say 21 to 27 foot-pounds of torque so we'll set it to 25 there you go guys 25 25 foot-pounds so you can see this one's got the rubber insert and this one doesn't this one came a bit green but the flat spots are directly on top and bottom so we'll see how that goes should be pretty good do the other side now So 
well, there you have it. It's all a matter of uh, putting on the sissy bar and that's it. Stanwall Park. I've got a coffee from the kiosk that's behind me. Now look at this backrest. What do you reckon? Do you like the look? I don't mind the look, only because it's low profile. But if you don't like the look, look how easy it is for it to come off. You pop off these two. Boom! Gone. So if you want to take some photos and not have the backrest on, it's pretty much that easy to come on and off so put it back on slide it through here into the docking hardware and the back clips down locked that's it perfect so easy to go on and off um, the good thing is now that we've got the docking hardware on we can easily put saddle bags you can get the backrest with the luggage rack so you can put a big bag on the back and that just opens up doors to a whole new world of exploring and traveling like with a luggage rack we'll be able to go a couple of weeks out you know having all the gear with us chris what do you think you were all on the back of the bike now what do you think with the sissy bar on oh well, usually before the sissy bar we used to um i used to hold on to you really tight and Every time you used to give it a little bit, I used to slide off a little bit. So today I was hands free. I had my hands on my on my lap and I'm um, going around corners and even doing these fly things and I was free with it. So um, yeah, it was all right for me. I love it. I love it. Too good. Me as a rider, I think it's a lot easier to ride because before when she used to be on there holding on to me, I have to go really slowly, you know. But now, yeah, you can just ride normal. So, good investment, pretty good. Does the job, does the job pretty well. And guess what, guys? You saw who we bumped into on the way here? That car life. Jordy from that <laughs> car life. And where's the S15? Let's, it's let's, around the corner. Let's go, find, let's go find this <laughs> S15. Let's have a quick look. We might as well. Why not? This thing is oofed. Look at the number plate. Fucking sick, man. Look at this S15. Straight piped. Um, if you're into your cars, go check out his channels. Pretty good. 
pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Straight pipe. It goes to the top. How does it go? To the top. Oh my god. So there you have it, guys. If you like this kind of little in store video, mini adventure, um, you know what to do. Give us a thumbs up if it helps you in any way. See more adventures, subscribe to the channel. There's definitely going to be some interesting things happening. On this channel and that car life, especially with Moto Blocker. Really good videos gonna be coming up, guys. So. Collab video coming up. 100%. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up.